Modifiers can be assigned to modulate any parameter of any plugin within your rack environment. Assigning a modifier is quick and easy. Simply drag and drop the orange modifier icon anywhere within the rack. The available modifiers are listed, and for this example I'll choose an LFO. I'm going to use this modifier to modulate this volume and pan plugin. Using the green wire, I'll connect the modifier's output to the new modifier assignment on the volume and pan plugin. A window pops up listing the plugin's parameters. The volume and pan plugin is very simple, so it's easy to find the parameters I wish to modulate. If you're working with a more complex plugin with a ton of parameters, you can use the search function here to easily find what you're looking for. I'm keeping this example simple, and we'll start by modulating the volume. This is achieved by setting a range, and ranges are set by dragging the mouse up or down on the parameters rotary. The range is illustrated by a white area, and it's only this range that will be modulated by the modifier. Back in our rack, we can see that the volume level is now being modulated. If I click on the modifier, its parameters are brought into view. It's here you can change its wave shape, increase or decrease its rate, sync it to the edit tempo or have it run in free, increase or decrease its depth, and more. Clicking on the settings button allows us to change the colour of our modifier, which can come in really handy when creating complex rack environments. We can also quickly jump to the plugin it's assigned to by selecting Select Plugins. You can use the same modifier to modulate multiple parameters within a rack, and once you've set it up, as we've done, you can make further assignments by clicking on the orange Assign button here. This puts the modifier into Assign mode, and I can now set a range on the Pan parameter to modulate. We can now see the LFO modulating both parameters, and if we tweak any of the LFO's parameters, both the Volume and Pan parameters are affected. We'll try this again, but this time we'll use a step modifier to modulate this Bitcrusher plugin. As before, drag the modifier icon into the rack. We'll choose Step Modifier and then wire its output to the new modifier assignment of the Bitcrusher. I'll set a range for both the drive and resolution parameters before clicking back on our rack. Clicking the dice icon here creates a random step sequence, and I can increase the rate of this sequence here. Each of these steps can be modified by simply mouse dragging each bar in or out. If I open the Crusher UI, we can now see those parameters being modulated. Macros work slightly different to modifiers, and they allow us to assign any amount of parameters to a single macro rotary. You can create macros to control individual plugins or entire rack environments, including modifier parameters. To demonstrate this, we'll create a macro that will control the depth of both our LFO and step modifiers. I'll start by setting the depth levels to zero on first the LFO, and then the step modifier. Click back on the rack and make sure the Macro Parameters tab is selected. To create a new macro, simply click the plus sign. We can name it by double clicking on the text. Let's now bring the LFO modifier's floating panel into view by double clicking on its icon in the rack. Now click back on the rack. Click the arrow button to put us in assign mode and then set our range for the depth parameter. I'll now repeat the exact same steps to assign the step modifier's depth parameter. Click on the arrow icon to exit assign mode, and let's give it a try. Here we can see our depth macro controlling the depth level of the LFO. And here we can see it controlling the depth of our step modifier. Macros can be as simple or as complex as you like, and when combined with user faceplates, you can create incredibly powerful interfaces. Please take some time to explore and experiment with both modifiers and macros. They really are the key to creating great racks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.